Shifting our focus to New York, where at least one New York City police officer has been killed and another has been critically wounded after a gunman opened fire at them near Harlem neighborhood. The same officer has been identified as 22-year-old Jason Rivera, who joined the force in 2020. This incident came just after a 16-year-old boy allegedly wounded another officer in the Bronx. This is the fourth such shooting on New York City police officers to have taken place in a month. We have four times this month rushed to the scene of NYPD officers shot by violent criminals in possession of deadly illegal guns. Four officers, five officers shot. One fighting for his life in four incidents. And now tonight, one is dead. Our detectives will work to piece this together, but as they do that, every NYPD officer will once again place a black mourning band across their shield. I ask you to please pray for them. The shooting took place when police officers came at a Harlem apartment in response to a domestic response involving a mother and her son. According to authorities, the son opened fire at the officers following an argument over the complaint. The suspect was also killed in the exchange of fire. Friday's shooting has once again highlighted the never-ending debate on U.S.'s severe gun culture. During a media briefing, New York Mayor Eric Adams urged Washington to bring in strict laws to limit the possession of illegal arms. And let me be clear, there are no gun manufacturers in New York City. We don't make guns here. How are we removing thousands of guns off the street and they still find their way into New York City? In the hands of people who are killers, constantly carbon highways of death, destroying our communities. We need Washington to join us and act now. Mass shootings have dominated the headlines, conversations and political debates around America's gun violence problem for decades. Compared to other high-income nations, the U.S. gun-related homicide rate is said to be 25 times higher. We On is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.